Welcome back to another video. So uh, today I'm going to continue the series on the Z Fold 4 tips, tricks, and hidden features. And I broke them down to a bunch of different categories. I put it in the description as they get published. And uh, today we're gonna to be talking about the battery and how to extend the battery life. So uh, most foldable phones have limited space to put their battery. So uh, the smaller batteries than most other flagship phones, right? And I think the uh, battery on the Z Fold 5 is fairly good, but you know, we could always get better. So I'll talk about a few things, how to increase your battery life, and then also how to keep your phone running well over the long term. So to start off, we got to get into battery settings. So let's get into settings and it's down here on the bottom here, battery and device care. And then we have this right here. So we're going to go into battery. Just click on that. And now right away, you can enable power saving. So with that on, it's going to decrease your background network usage, uh, syncing, location, all that kind of stuff. So decrease all your notifications uh, from, from all the apps. And then it's also going to decrease your motion smoothness. So you can turn that on and off, uh, you know, depending on what you want to do. But there's some other power savings uh, that you can use without going full all in here. You can click these on and that will save some of the battery too. So if you go click on the three dots right up here, adaptive power saving. So we could turn that on. So the phone will make its determination on which things we could shut down to save some battery and keep your performance at a level that's acceptable for you. If you think that that's hitting it too much, um, then you could just turn that off. So let's go back and then we're going to go back one more and we go to background usage limits. So let's hit that because now this is kind of important because uh, you want to click this on. So if you're not using an app, you probably have, you know, dozens and dozens of apps on your phone and you might have only used the app once or something like that. Well, then this phone will put it to sleep while it's not being used. And uh, that's good. That'll save you battery because it's not getting notifications and it's not running in the background or doing anything at all. And now you have different categories here. You have sleeping apps, deep sleeping apps, and then never sleeping apps. So the phone will put these asleep, and every once in a while I'll get a message saying, hey, you know, we're putting these apps to sleep, and, you know, I say fine. But you can click on them, and then these are all the ones that are deep sleeping, right? And then you can toggle these off if you want to. And then the never sleeping apps, this you might want for... Um, you know, your social media stuff or something, even if you're not using it all the time, you still want to get notifications from it. Uh, if you have a weather app, if you have, you have something that you just always want to be active and always working as it needs to be, then you just put that in the never sleeping apps and then that will never get turned off by the phone. So let's scroll down a little bit here and this lists all the apps that are using your battery and a list of percentage. So if you have apps and you're using the heck out of it and it's using a lot of battery, well, you know, there you go. But if you have an app that you're not really using or you didn't even know you had the app and it's using a lot of battery, then maybe you want to eliminate it or uh, uninstall it or force stop it or, you know, whatever you want to do. But if you click on the details, it will give you the details since the last charge or the last seven days. And you can just click through and scroll and see which ones you got here. And again, if it's using a lot of power, then maybe you want to uh, turn it off. Then we're going to keep scrolling down We get down to more battery battery settings. Click on that. And this is a bunch of features that I usually turn on here because you got the adaptive battery. So if you're doing some uh, heavy intensive stuff, then the performance will ramp up. And if you're not, then the performance will ramp back down and then that will hopefully save you battery and it will hopefully do it in the background so you don't even notice it. If you feel like it is sapping too much power, then, you know, turn that off. Then you could also have the performance profile. Um, I stand it in light. Honestly, I haven't noticed too much of a difference with this. So, you know, you could play around with it. So I'd probably click it on the light and see if you notice a difference. If it's not working the way you want, then, you know, turn that off. Then show battery percentage. That just gives this up here. If you turn it off, it disappears. I always like that. And then uh, slow charging information. This is important because sometimes I plug my phone in and, you know, I got to leave somewhere in 20 minutes. I just want to top off my phone and I don't realize it, but I'm using a crappy cable or a crappy brick or, you know, whatever. And it's charging super slow. So uh, at the end of the 20 minutes, I'll get like, you know, two percentage more uh, charge out of it. So it's nice to have that uh, turn on and then you can see the information. And then uh, it's nice that you could do this, the fast charging for the wired. And then also you could decide what you want to do with the wireless. I charge mine overnight over the wireless charger. So I just do regular wireless charging. I don't care if it, you know, takes a couple of hours to charge it, but you could toggle those on and decide what you want to do with it. So if you click into the uh, description here, I have uh, several other videos about the tips and tricks and I broke them down to categories to make them uh, more manageable bites here. If you plan on keeping the phone for a long time, then you want to do this protective battery. It will go up to 85% uh, and then it will stop charging. Hopefully this will protect the battery and keep it going to the full capacity over the years. Uh, if you are the kind of person that charges in their phone every year or, you know, whatever, then you could just turn this off and then it will charge up to 100%, you know, if you're not care uh, concerned about that. But that's a good feature to uh, keep in mind. Okay, let's go back to the uh, main battery page here. So we're going to go right here to device protection. Click on that. And then now with this, you could scan the phone right now, just do a manual scan, which is nice. Now this uh, might be carrier locked or, uh, you know, different carriers might have different uh, deals with different virus companies or whatever. So it might be slightly different, but whatever um, virus scanner app that they use, go ahead and, you know, install that and go ahead and, and this is, should be where you would find it. Then you just scan the phone. Then if we click the three dots up here, we go to device protection settings. So let's click on that. 
So I turn this on because I like my apps to be scanned daily and I like the uh, new apps to be scanned before they get installed. So that's great. And I haven't noticed anything, you know, you think this would cause any kind of slowdown or something like that. I haven't noticed it at all. So I don't know if this, it does it at night or I don't know when it does it, but I haven't noticed any issues with that. And uh, so that will just keep you, hopefully everything safe and keep some malware off your phone. Okay, so let's go back. And then we're going to go back to here. And then we're going to go down to auto optimization. So let's click on that. And that, with this, it says restart as needed. With uh, the previous software, it used to be able to pick a day and a time of the week that you could do an auto restart. So like, you know, Wednesday at 2 in the morning or something like that, it would do an auto restart. But now they took that away. So now it just restarts as it needs to. I believe with the new software that's coming out, Android 14, that we're going to get it uh, that feature back. And then we're going to be able to pick a day of the week that you can uh, restart this. Right now, I just clicked this on and I haven't noticed it really restarting too much too often. So maybe it doesn't need to do it that frequently. I'm not sure. And if it does give you the option of picking a day of the week, I'd probably pick at least one day a week to do a restart just to kind of keep the phone running smoothly. Now we're going to go uh, to diagnostics. So if you click on this, okay, so let's uh, show, there's a couple of different options on here. So we're going to go to the phone diagnostics. Now these are all the things that you can check. And you can see here, you know, all these different options, the hardware things and all that sort of stuff. You could just test all, but it takes a while. I, I think it takes like 20 minutes or something to do, test them all. But if you're having a problem, you know, with the fingerprint sensor, maybe you drop the phone and it's not working right, you know, you can check it and see if it's a hardware issue, if it's a software issue, or, you know, what the deal is. If you have a big crack on the screen, then don't look any further. You broke it. A common one to use is probably, you know, the battery status. If um, you're using it and the battery's just not holding a charge like it used to, you can click on that and see if what's going on. And again, if you're going to keep this phone for a long time, Maybe you replace the battery. You know, I don't know. And now we're back to the, uh, I just wanted to go back to the uh, main battery page here. This is a great feature that they came up with. So uh, it's called maintenance mode. So if you crack your screen and you need to replace, uh, you know, the screen or you need to replace your battery or, you know, whatever's going on, and you turn this into the uh, maintenance technician who's going to fix your stuff, when you give it to them, uh, they have access to all your stuff. And, uh, you know, sometimes they want you to unlock it so that they can test the features and, you know, make sure it's fixed and all that stuff. But again, they have access to all your stuff that's on here. You might have some, you know, all your contacts, you have photos, you have bank account info, everything you have on there can be accessed by them. And if they're a little unscrupulous, uh, we could have some trouble with that. So what you do is just click on the maintenance mode here and you turn this on and then you could read through all this. But basically it just makes it so it, they only have access to the things that they need to have access to and they don't get access to all your personal stuff. So if you have any maintenance done to your phone and you're handing it over to somebody, definitely turn that on. So I'm back to the main uh, battery settings page. And if you click up here, there's uh, these four little vertical lines there and there's this three uh, dots here. So let's click on uh, the four lines up here. And then what this shows is if there's any history. So if, you know, an app's been crashing or causing problems, it will be list there and uh, the restarting. And then there's a daily tip down there. So uh, these are things that you can just check and see if there's any problems. Then if we click the three dots up here, it goes into settings, right? Another submenu. So let's click that. And it shows uh, show device care on app screen. So the device care app is basically the battery settings app mostly. It puts an app on your phone, on your app list, and then you could also just move that to the home screen if you want. So you don't have to go through these settings and, you know, dig, dig through these submenus to get to it. You can just access it. And I use that a lot just to auto restart stuff. Let me show you what that looks like. So this is what that device care app looks like. It'll just give you a better view of that. And it basically just takes you into battery settings. So if you just click on this, this is what opens up. This is what's in there. And uh, I always do this, you know, on a daily basis, pretty much just optimize now. And then you got all that uh, menu that all looks familiar from what we did before. It's just easy to get into everything. One last uh, feature in this battery uh, tips and tricks is a display actual setting because the uh, display is obviously a big use with a battery. So you can adjust it as you want to. So let me show you how to do that. So let's get into uh, settings again. Then we're going to go into a uh, display and it's going to be motion smoothness. So if we click on this, so I always keep it on standard because I don't really notice the difference between the adaptive and the standard, and the uh, standard does save the battery. If you're thinking the standard is not good or, you know, things look blurry for you or whatever, then click it on the adaptive and, you know, see what kind of battery hit you take. Now, the important thing to note here, and the reason I just wanted to point this out, is because this is, like I said, an important uh, part of the battery, and it will drain your battery a lot if you're using a lot of screen on time, but also it's two different settings. So if you do this on the inside, you can see here, this is the uh, main screen, the, the Samsung considers this the main screen. So maybe on the main screen, you want to have it adaptive because you're doing your games or you're watching movies or, you know, whatever else you're doing and you want it to have that extra refresh rate. So you can click it on there. 
but when you close the screen, and if you did the same settings here, and you would show you that this is the cover screen. And then the cover screen, you know, you're probably not doing too much on there. You're probably just kind of doing texts and phone calls and, you know, stuff like that. Then you can keep that maybe on standard, and that would maybe save you some battery life. So you fool around with it and see which uh, one you can handle. If uh, you don't notice a difference, then keep it on standard because it will save you battery. Again, if you don't like it, then click it up to adaptive. So this is the, uh, again, the battery tips and tricks uh, video. And I have about uh, four or five more videos that I have. Uh, so I have a display, I have the battery one here, I have privacy and security, I have customizations, I have advanced features, uh, which will go into all the split screens and multitasking and all that kind of stuff. Down the road, I'll probably just have one, maybe two videos about the S Pen and all the apps and everything that you could do with it. Uh, it's a pretty advanced kind of tool with the Samsung. They've really refined it quite a bit. If any of that sounded interesting to you, please consider subscribing and liking and sharing this. I would really appreciate it. It does give the um, people at YouTube um, reason to send my video out to other people. So uh, please do that. I appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.